Well, he's got to he's got to want to break it. Um, it's the live ball turnovers that lead the layups. Him and Daryl had a lot of those last year. Um, not getting in too deep, but if you get in deep, making the right decision, um, pass faking a little more. When you're 5'10", you get in deep, it's hard. And um, so he's worked at it. I mean, he's had some really, really good days. I, I think our turnovers are way down. Um, now we'll see when the lights come on. Um, but uh, those two, and if you think about Daryl last year, our last five games, he was like 17 assists, two turnovers. So he really flipped it after the Penn State game last year. So it's a it's an everyday thing. Execution and taking care of the ball is an everyday thing. So we'll continue to work on it. We've talked about the last couple of years about a different athlete. And, and it seems like he starts the season with a, with, with a different mindset. But as the season goes on, he plays sort of the same way. Yeah. As a senior, I, mean, I think this is the first senior point guard he had in Maryland. Uh, I would say. Uh, is it, is it, can, you, can you see a difference, especially if he's Yeah, well, Anthony likes to score, so that's what you're getting at. Um, and he's a good scorer for us. I think it's more with if you ask the players that question, because I'll be like, how's Anthony doing? They're like, coach, we've never seen him like this. And so his message is, is really good. Um, he brings it every day to practice. Um, he also knows, I think there was a lot on Anthony's plate last year, especially him and Bruno early. I think I think they both, I think Anthony realized how much talent there is around him. Um, and so he didn't have to do as much. Um, but the whole key is leadership and just putting the team first and getting those turnovers down. And we've worked hard on it. Oh, Kyle's very special um, to me, and I've known that since I've had him. Um, he makes the weight room fun. Um, and luckily for him, I recruit skinny guys that he can put a lot of weight on. Um, then he does the opposite with the Mitchell twins, getting their bodies right. Dante Scott needed to shred some uh, weight off him, so he does a great job with that. But our guys like the weight room, and um, they put extra, you know, time on their own in there to, to, to get where they need to be. But um, they like it. They know it helps their game. Um, it was a good. It was a good year because you're going from freshman year to sophomore year. And a lot of those guys, that's when they make their biggest jump. So he had all all spring, all summer, and fall to really bulk these guys up. Yeah, you know, Cho, he came in late, and we have an, he had surgery. So, uh, and then I don't know how much weight Cho can take. So, like, Sticks put on a lot of weight, and then he started to have a few knee problems. So we had to shut it down and, and uh, so you have to you have to be smart about it too but yeah I mean Cho will make his biggest gains after this year right now we're just trying to get him healthy and, and you know get him back on the court the Jack Lynch Law Group successes have resulted in many distinguished awards including best personal injury trial law firm USA Maryland's personal injury attorney of the year twice and super lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. You face Michigan State a lot in your career and they've got a veteran who back. If you had to give your 
early October scouting report on how to take them down in a game, or, or what would it be with, with this group and with catches? What, what, what's the plan? Uh, I don't know yet because every team's different. Um, obviously, the beat you have to be great in transition defense, which we weren't last year. Um, so it, that, that's key. Um, uh, all, it's all about Cassius, too. Uh, I think he'll have a lot of injuries last year. They were Because of injuries, they were younger than they thought they were going to be. So all those kids are going to grow like my team did. So they'll have more weapons around them. Um, you know, and I think it's all about matching their toughness. If you match their toughness, then you, then you got a chance. Last year, we had no chance of matching it. Um, you know, and, and it showed. But um, if you can disrupt him, do you have a chance, or is it more? Is that not? I think if you slow him down, um, he's such a good player. If you, can, if you can somehow figure out how to guard him in ball screens, slow him down in transition. I, I, I think that helps. That's not doesn't mean it's going to be the zero. So, so much tears been talked about the image, name, and likeness stuff, and it seems like coaches are trying to figure out where they stand, what it could look like. It's a complex issue to some degree, and I'm just wondering where you are on it and what if there's a fear you have about it. I don't know if there's a fear. We hear earlier when I talked yeah, about it. Yeah. You know, so that's really the, the same answer. It's very complex. Um, a lot's going to happen over the next three or four years on that. Um, I'm for the student athletes. I'm a former student athlete. It's gotten better over the years. We do a lot more for them. Cost of living, different things. Um, so they're more compensated than they were. Um, but it's going to it's going to take a lot of entities, presidents of the universities, commissioners, legislators, to figure this out. My whole deal is I want it to be fair. And as long as it's fair, then we can keep the college model. You know, because when you think about how fun college basketball is, how fun college football is for the fan bases, the pride that's in, in that. So if we can retain all that and make things better for the student athlete, I'm all for it.